So guys, I know a lot of you have been training on your own at home and make up your own training sessions. Uh, and it can be pretty difficult because CrossFit is such a diverse sport and it has a lot of different exercises that need attention. So in this breakdown video, I hope to clear some things up in order for you to make up your own workout that will take into account your uh, CNS freshness. So how fresh you feel for that specific day uh, and your personal weaknesses. So let's jump into this breakdown video. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is that every individual has a bottle of water which represents their energy level uh, that they can spend over their training. And your nutrition, your lifestyle and more stuff dictate the uh, levels of that water. But for now, we're just going to focus on one bottle of water for one training session. So we have these, these cups and maybe one cup is already filled while the other one is still uh, completely empty. So we need to look at the cups and fill them appropriately so they can all become equal when the water bottle is emptied. Of course this is really difficult for one training session because the cups of course represent the aspects in fitness. So the first cup being your mobility, the second will be uh, weightlifting for instance, third one body weight exercises, you name it. But you will not be able to fix, of course, the uh, individual weaknesses in one session. But we want the biggest weakness or the biggest focus point to be at the beginning of the training session. And why is that? Because for one, individuals are uh, most likely not able to exactly feel what their energy levels are and they tend to uh, spend all their energy on the first exercise that they do and neglect all the other glasses that need filling also. So that's an important thing. Uh, start with the, the exercise or the aspect that you're weakest at. So for a lot of individuals that will be gymnastics. So start with that aspect of fitness uh, and train that first. So then the CNS or the central nervous system regulates the contractions inside your body. So if we have a exercise that is really intense, so we have a lot of weight on it and we need to use a lot of muscles, the CNS will be working a lot. The CNS and the energy levels of an individual, they correlate a lot with each other. So what we want to do is that activities and exercises that drain the CNS and drain the energy levels a lot, we want to get them uh, at the start of your session when you're fresh. But we want to consider the weaknesses also of the glasses. So if Olympic weightlifting is of a bigger weakness than your powerlifting stats, then begin with Olympic weightlifting and make sure that your powerlifting goes after that. Of course, we don't have to train Olympic weightlifting every day, so we can mix and match with other aspects. But it's just to give you an idea of what will drain energy a lot. And we want to put that at the beginning of the session while we're still fresh. So that means that we don't want to start off with a lot of isolation work and then end up with a big movement. We want the big movement to be at the start of the session and then end up with accessory stuff, uh, isolation drills or just uh, easy stuff on the CNS. So low weights and or low requirements for a lot of muscles. So we use a single muscle or we do a easy task. So we go from compound Pound to isolation. Bump. We don't want to fatigue our muscles individually and then go into a compound movement. We want the uh, highest demand on the CNS at the beginning of the session and then end up with the isolation stuff. So this idea could just as much be a a workout where she would train your conditioning and then go over into lifts and accessory stuff. So the idea is just to start with the aspect that needs the most attention. So you can get 100% focus on the task. So then of course, after we've done this, we're going into a cooling down. And the cooling down is just to uh, relax the body. If you've just finished a really hard workout, the heart rate is uh, really high. Try to lower it down before you go home or before you go on with your daily routine. So that means that stuff like uh, moving your arms, walking around, uh, stretching a little bit, do some nose breathing, uh, easy nose breathing uh, could really help and get that uh, heart rate down so you can get into that recovery state, which we all want to uh, get the adaptations which we aspire. And of course, before all this, 
We want to start with a warm-up and yes, warm-ups are important. The reason being that we can assess our own movement before we go into a training session. So nowadays we have all these fancy watches which can measure how much we've recovered. We tend to forget that we are also able to notice how much we've recovered over the past 24 hours. So if we start with a warm-up and we feel that we were still a bit achy and we have some muscle soreness here and there, we can adjust the intentions for that session. So it could go from getting a lot of weight on the bar to just moving around and get some blood flow in. So that's one thing that the warm-up can do for you. It can uh, really help with uh, looking at how you feel for a specific day and to determine the intentions of that specific session. The warm-up is also pretty important to switch from the work state or the father mommy state or whatever state you're in to a training state so that you can switch off that mindset from work or from school and go and focus 100% on your training. And why is that important? Because the brain will eventually uh, get the bar upwards. The brain will uh, get you out of that deep squat. So if your brain is not at the right level, you will notice it in your training session. So that's also one thing you want to do in your warm up. You want to feel and contract the muscles that you're going to use in your training so that it's easier for your CNS to hand over the messages to the specific muscles. So yeah, that's basically it. We go from uh, most important or slash demanding to least important slash demanding. This will ensure that your training session is as efficient as possible. Don't forget the warm-up and don't forget the cool down, the stretches, your mobility stuff and all that. Guys, I hope you've liked this video. If you did like this video, subscribe on our channel and I hope to see you next time with another breakdown video.